Hello everyone and welcome back to a certain scientific railgun episode 6. Uh, today we will see what I don't know the story has for us. In the previous one we got a little uh, character development between Kuroko and Flower Girl or Wearo. <laughs> um, but yeah, um, so far I still don't see any particular arc going on. Um, and yeah, I, I think that I said that previously, but uh, the episode uh, 4 is currently my favorite. <laughs> Misaka and Toma encounter or battle was phenomenal. And yeah, uh, I don't want to waste any more time. Uh, if you want to see the full uncut reaction, uh, you have it on Patreon in the description below. And uh, yeah, let's just check. This episode out. <laughs> what happened? What was that? ドルーの事件、これでご懸命ですの。犯人の目星は昨日ようやく手がかりがつかめましたの。お姉様、グラビトンってご存知ですか？重力子のことだっけ？どのケースも。爆発の直前に重力子の速度を爆発的に加速させ一気に周囲にまき散らすつまりアルミを爆弾に変えていたということですわまあでもそれってつまり能力者の仕業ってことでしょだったら学園都市の蛮行を検索すれば一発じゃ
ちゃんとお仕事やってみせます。Oh my god。She shouldn't be having problems with that. Ah. What? That's so unfortunate. やっぱり研修と現場では勝手が違うっていうかあそこまで地図音痴で加減知らずで空気読めないとは私も苦手だったわよ知ってる街でも意外と手間取るのよね<笑>はいコノリ私たちも探してみるわね探し物の妖精が入ったわ探し物ええカバンですってそれってもしかして子供用のカバンじゃありませんかベンチに置いてあったのを犬がくわえて持ってっちゃったんです大変じゃないですか早くその犬を捕まえないと What? Oh, snake probably. What was that? ご協力感謝いたしますの。お、どうも。ウイハルいます？奥にいますわ。かわいいウイハル子供いたんだ<笑>はいだから私子供いませんって<笑>でもほらよく見ると目元とかが似てませんわ What? She is sleeping She is teasing her so much その子は何カバンを探してほしいって頼まれたんで他の支部にも協力してもらって探す間私と白井さんはこの子を見てることにでも他の支部も協力って学園都市って基本家族と離れ離れじゃないですかこういうことにはみんな積極的なんですよジャッジメントっていろんなことするんだね大変だなお仕事すんなほらそんなそっちだって何勝手に口聞いてんだようわちょっと何やってんのよジャッジメントか何でもねえよ二人がかりでこんなことしてうるせえなちょっちガキがガッ大丈夫ですかもっと早くよ。みさかさん、どうあと探してないところって言ったら。ここね。そ,それにならないですよ。もしこんなところに。みさかさんはそっちね。って、スルーですか頼むわね。どこのお姉ちゃん、ジャッジメントの人あー、途中で一人だけのセーフだうわスカートの下にハンズボン履いてるなんでこんなの履いてんだ普通のパンツ持ってないのこの二人はこのセーフだセーフジャッジメントだ犬がえっいたーこのり先輩ちょっと待ちなよ任せてくださいデイオンカバンを守ってくれたのよどうやらカバンを爆弾だと思い込んでたらしくて<笑>そんなに慌てなくてもいいわよ時話題のレールガンさんえバレてるあのこれはほらこっちお姉ちゃんありがとう<笑>どういたしまして<笑>くずく大変な一日だったわ。大変なんだね。ジャッジメントって。お姉様。私見直しちゃったわ、黒子のこと
God. Okay, uh, honestly, I didn't expect the after credits in this one. Uh, that was brutal, actually. Um, so we have one victim at this point. So, okay, now I do believe we have some sort of arc going on. Um, and we need to find the culprit of who is doing that. Uh. <laughs> the last few seconds of the episode made, like, I don't know, this episode complete. <laughs> uh, I thought that I am worrying, like, for no reason. Um, I mean, Misaka was worrying the whole episode and at the end it wasn't, like... Nothing serious, but here at the end we see that we have some problem. Mm. <laughs> um, okay, I, I believe this episode was a nice balance of uh, comedy and uh, I guess going on with the story. Um, we got nice introduction of what can go wrong <laughs> and what I mean interesting power of like, I'm not really sure if I understood what is going on, but they're transporting or stuffing aluminium into the stuffed animals in this case, and just using their power to obliterate them, or I'm not sure what they release that it's said, but somehow they explode. <laughs> um, and at the start was very small explosion so I only can believe now that the amount of aluminium in the stuffed animal at the end was like increased or something like that um, but yeah that's uh, <laughs> I don't know and uh, it was said that the only person who has the esper powers like that um, was hospitalized the whole like every time the incident happened so uh i mean her look on the face wasn't really nice so i still don't believe that we should cut her off um but also we don't know if um i mean data banks of esper powers are definitely scuffed so uh there there is something going going wrong in the system i am sure of it um but yeah, um, other than that, uh, the other part of the episode where Misaka was trying to, uh, I guess, live, <laughs> live a life of a judgment trainee, um, or recruit, uh, rather. <laughs> uh, yeah, I didn't expect either that they are, um, they are, I guess, um, the ones that also clean around, and uh, I see that other people are just like, I don't know, towards the judgment, I mean, they are just, oh, okay, there you are, I mean, you are cleaning up my garbage, so uh, take that, <laughs> and um, I mean, they are very ignorant and uh, like badly mannered, um, and the example that we had were two picked up 
Like, a guy just bumped into them and somehow he, he got like two knocks. I mean, that one guy was really going in for a kick or a, I don't know if it was, it was a kick or a punch. I'm not sure, but just because someone bumped into you, oh my god. Um, and then, I mean, Misaka did stop them, but the guy didn't show appreciation because he, in his mind, judgment should come before he gets the punch. Um, which is, like, not possible. Um, so, I see that the whole, I don't know, um, relationship between the people and the judgment organization is kinda uh, apart. <laughs> I don't know if it, it's not a, <laughs> it's not a positive uh, relationship whatsoever. Um, and yeah, uh, at the end we got a little comic relief with Kuroko <laughs> going all in. Uh, <laughs> um, but yeah. Uh, I would say that this was a nice introduction episode of some story or arc that will be following in the next episode, I believe, because we had a victim, right? So we need to address the problem and figure it out what's going wrong, like who is behind this. Um, so I believe this will be for the next episode. Um, this one was cool. I liked it. Um, not much as the fourth one but it's the second favorite so far so yeah uh, if you liked my reaction to it give it a thumbs up uh, leave a comment down below without spoilers please um, as you may know uh, if you're new by the channel I welcome you to subscribe and click that bell for notifications so you'll be informed of my next reactions gameplays reviews and other things that I do on the channel if I mean if you do any requests Put them in the comments below as well. I will check them out. Um, and yeah, thank you again for checking this one out. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.